What can you tell me oh about Oh my god, uh, John what is Doe? going on, man? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. He's looking away from him now. John? Alright, hey guys, as you can see, we are on episode 4 of Batman the Telltale series. Basically, a quick overview just to catch you up on where we're at, because loads of shit happened in the last one. Basically, Oswald has taken over Wayne Enterprises, Wayne Industries, whatever they're calling it in this one. And Batman got pricked by a pen from Vicky Vale, who it turned out is the Lady Arkham, who is the leader of the Children of Arkham. So she pricked him with that uh, rage serum and uh, he went to attack Oswald and that's what happened at the end of the last one, it cut to black. Didn't see what happened after that. And uh, that's basically the two main things. Harvey's decline is continuing. His like kind of split personality is becoming more prevalent and uh, he's becoming more violent and unstable. So we'll see how that pans out. And uh, we slept with Catwoman and that's pretty much it from what I can remember. So let's jump straight in with episode four Guardian of Gotham. Here we go, guys. I'm in such a good mood right now, guys. I've got like a biscuity Christmassy candle and it smells so good. The room is so lovely and I'm so peaceful and zen. It's kind of insane. So as bad as this one may be, uh, which it shouldn't be considering the other ones have been really good. But if this one sucks, then I might give it like a, I might be nice about it because I'm in such a good mood right now. So let's hope it doesn't bring me down. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. Well, that was awkward. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. I didn't say that. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selina, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Selina, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Dropped your pen. That's not... <laughs> Okay, so first things first, two of the things that you saw there didn't even happen. Uh, and plus, in the last one, actually, in the kind of roundup of your options, it said that I punched Oswald in the boardroom, and that didn't happen either. So, it, not only are the fucking glitches, like, out the wazoo, up the wazoo, whatever the fucking phrase is, it's not even, like, really paying attention to what choices I am making, because Harvey didn't walk in on us. He was stood there, and I... The cat opened the door and he saw us. And the other thing was that I didn't tell Lucius to come and work for me. I told him to stay there to be a mole so that you I could keep track of something. the information on that. So, Retro bullshit galore Bruce. for the opening of this. And I'm not going to bother replaying it because fuck it, but we'll see how that affects what happens. Very Half-Life G-Man vibes with him like walking up and the face and everything. Oh. oh god. What is this place? Arkham Asylum? Get up. Breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's 
sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? <gasps> Hugo Strange. Let me call if it's Hugo. Okay, what we got here? We've got surveillance. Yeah, so if you haven't seen any of the ones, like, the glitches in this have been insane. People have been disappearing. People's heads, or people's hair, rather, haven't been there. It's kind of mental. No pun intended, since we're in Arkham. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Rusty Cot. It's not a cot, is it? It's not a fucking baby. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. We're not just be able to open the door, you think? <coughs> okay, that was weird. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it, so I guess we better get dressed. This can't be real. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum to start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? So either he's Might as well like get comfortable. willing to take a massive beating now. to make Bruce look bad, Time to meet your name. badder than he already looks with the whole Thomas Wayne thing, or, well this has turned rapey all of a sudden, or he didn't even know anything about it and as she's just were. using him like a bitch. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. It's kind of ugly and jarring, but I do quite like the uh, weird flaring effect thing we've got going on over the top. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Churlish! Not nice! How do you like it? You are pathetic! Joker. What kind of fucking street do they have around here? Just let Joker out. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? Does it look like I'm okay? And they've gone for the Dark Knight Returns one bit. approach and not even giving him the red lips. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> it was all a blur. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. 
I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? What? Oh, have we never met Joker before? We just call him John Doe. Bingo! <laughs> or has Batman like lost his memory and he doesn't know who Joker is? Like, what's happening right now? I need some context. Yeah, it was random. I didn't think he'd just like kind of turn up out of nowhere. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be tiles. best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! And if you find this out of focus you thing annoying, then you're just gonna have to get used to it, because it happens all the fucking time. No, Doc. Our last session was... So enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. We're gonna get grabbed every at one day. of these doors or something, maybe. This one, this one. There you go, there you go. Anything. I want a taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Yep, it really is this jittery. Good god, this is like... Oh my god, what's happening is so bad! You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leila? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patience to... <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go! I have to warn the president! You're trying to kill you me! You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass! Why don't you put them in the fucking office? How's that for a fucking idea? I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Okay, pretty sure we just walked through a door there. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Oh, we might get some guys that we know. I'd watch yourself around those two. This guy with a pup on his hand, he might be ventriloquist. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me <gasps> around like this. Oh, it's cool. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? It's a key, dumbass. Okay, so it looks like we've got Killer Croc here as well. Okay, where's he going? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Cookie okay, crumbs. so we have a gate. That's it. 
We have yes, chest. Look at chest. Lewis. Well, that was helpful. Let's use the key on it. Sounds like it doesn't work. There. It sounded like it worked though. That was weird. Okay, this is same Lewis. <laughs> I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Should we dare talk to... Oh, okay, someone's just come back. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. He stuck a shine into us, says Joker. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Arnold. Hello. Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother it, I will gut you. And news today. There are three suspects now wanted in the murder of the Victoria girl found last week. What can you tell me oh about my God. Uh, John Doe? What is going Doe? on, man? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. He's looking away from him now. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Jesus Christ, what the yeah. fuck is up with this game? Now what? Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost. So Arkham Asylum is being managed as well as the bug finding team that works at Telltale. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Lewis. Huh? What? No, that wasn't me. I I I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... <laughs> that... Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. He looks quite Frankenstein-y. What's that? Oh, no, 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 that's not polite at all. He cheats. Every time, he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Doctor says that's against the rules. I just hope to Victor Zaz. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. We know what the scars are, we don't need to ask him about that. And if you don't know, it's a scar for every one of his victims, basically. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. From being such a psycho, he's a bit of a pussy. Uh, okay, let's knock on the nurse's station. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess nothing is gonna happen, like no one's gonna turn up. You are... Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. 
Well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Beat it. Okay, let's go talk to. Okay, try this cabinet. I'm assuming it's for the front gate, but you know, may as well try. Nope. Not the right key for this. Let's talk to John Doe. Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find Sydney, it's sunny. I thought it was like the middle of a rainy of night. And their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. This isn't a Okay, joke. forget what I said about the Their transitions being good. That was like the God. worst one I've had so That's far. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Well, who took a picture Very of her when she was talking to us on that bench? I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge? That is interesting, though, how he knows more. Then you'd think he would. Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy. <laughs> made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. 
I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Let's be clear about one thing. You are never, ever getting out of this place. Whatever you say, Bruce. But never is a very, very long time. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. Who am I gonna call, Catwoman? Alfred? You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? <gasps> oh. Oh, shit. No! No, 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 I don't match it. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... He's gonna kill our chest guy. Need to get rid of it! Unlucky. <laughs> Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> it's frozen again. <laughs> We can blame it on the drugs. Uh... GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to turn up she'll actually turn up this time. I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Look at the lock on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Pretty grisly scene in there. Okay, well apparently that is uh, chapter two, so we'll continue this next time as I fade to black here, because this wasn't meant to happen. So I'll see you guys next time for chapters three and four of episode four of Batman the Telltale series. So thanks for watching, stay awesome. Sorry for them hideous technical glitches. I, I don't know what I can do about it, nothing. It's the game's fault. For once, it's not me. But thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.